Oh, hi, what's Scott Sullivan Bell coming to you live from Zephyr Cove. It is October 5th, 2014. Thought we would do some sales training from the beach. Kind of a beach. Well, I guess it is a beach. Hey, so here's the thing. Let's say that you're in a sales process and it started at 930 and you're all the way at 1030 and you made the sale. And I'm saying, hey, congratulations, you made the sale. Now, when you take a look at the bell curve of the way that a sale works, there's all this. You have the tough climb coming up to the top right here. And then you get all the way to the top, right? You get all the way to the top of the bell curve. And that person's finally like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. You got to know something. That person is in buying mode buying mode you should have like flares and signals and stuff going off there should be sirens going off in your head that person is in buying mode all right now buying mode means that they've already made a decision to buy and that means that they have the ability to buy more right they, they've hit the top and they're looking over and they're looking around they're like what else can i buy so just imagine them they're climbing up the top of the hill so the sales process is a hill they climb up to the top of the hill they get to the top they take a look and they go i'll take that one okay so they're there, they take a look, they said that one. And then all of a sudden, like they, they take the, the goggles out and they're like, hmm, what else can I buy? What else can I pick up? Because they have all that resistance taken away and they're excited. Now, this happens with a lot of people. I'm not gonna say it happens with all of them, but you're in, you have them. You have them in buy mode. But here's the thing. I want you to remind about being ethical. You gotta be ethical about this and you gotta work with them about things that they need. Not things that they don't need, but things that they need. So let's say you have a product that has an extended warranty and it's really gonna help them out. The key is here, I'm gonna put this like in a big bowl right here. The key is it has to help them out. You can't just sell somebody something just to sell them something. It's something that's gonna help them. So if you have a product, talk to them about a warranty, an extended warranty. You have, you know, extra service could be done. Talk to them about that service. But what happens is salespeople make the mistake is the buyer's right here, they're ready to buy, and you've done this too, and they bought, and they're like, okay, so what else can I buy? What else can I get? What else do you got on the shelf? And the salesperson in their minds are like, sold, sold, I'm thinking about buying stuff right now, I got commissions in my check. And then, and then the buyer's like, hey, 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 pay attention, pay attention, I still wanna buy some stuff. And the buyer's still thinking, oh, I'm gonna get some shoes, like, I'll just go through me. I'm going to get some cologne. I'm going to get some ties. I'm going to get some shoes. And like that buyer's still over there. They're like, hey, you know, there's a couple more things that I could pick up at this point. And the buyer's just oblivious to it. So here's the thing. Remember that once somebody over here gets over the hump and they're on top of the mountain right here and they're looking and they're like, what else can I buy? Offer them something. Say, hey, look, you know, you got the extra cool widget or gizmo. Let's take a look at what the warranty is. And, you know, when you get the warranty right now, it's discounted. Normally the warranty is 100 bucks, and right now it's 80 and the person goes, you know what, eh. right? They're waffling, they got the oscillation going. They're like, which way do I go? Which way do I go? Do I do it? Do I not do it? Do I do it? Do I not do it? Eh. And then that's what your time to, shh, remember, your, your job is to be quiet after you ask a selling question. Just sit there and then let them go. And yeah, let's go ahead and do it. But if there's something else that you can offer them that's gonna help them, remember ethics, something else is gonna help them and it's gonna be able to offer that's gonna help their product that they just bought, offer them another thing. And then you know what, there's gonna be a point where they're like, all right, I had enough. My bank account's drained, my credit card's maxed, we're good. But just go through the process if there's something that they need. Now, if, okay, so let me give you an example. Yesterday, I'm at this place that sells guitars and it's a big chain and I buy this recorder. I'm ready to buy, I want more accessories. But guess what, the place didn't have them. I'm, I'm like, look, I'm in buy mode. I just spent a couple hundred bucks. I want really cool things. I wanna be excited about my purchase. And the guy, I, I asked the guy, I go, where are the accessories at? Oh, we don't have any what like in my mind I'm freaking out like now I got to go online and get them but I'm standing here at the store I want them in the bag just put them in the bag I want to take them home with me I want to go play with this toy and see just think about that think about that for a second Scott goes to the to the guitar store to go buy stuff and they don't have everything that I want I'm in buy mode I just spent 400 bucks come on I'm like I want the I want like all the little attachments and you don't have them huh. silly so just think about this. There's something in your process, in your product, in your service, your widget, your gizmo, that thing that you have, that thing that you do, that you can add on at the end. Remember, I always want to keep pointing this out, ethical. There's no reason to sell something that, to somebody that they don't need. But if this place would have had more stuff, I would have bought it. I was like, I'm in buy mode. Come on, I want to buy some stuff. Your clients are doing the same thing. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. And then there's like, subscribe, like over here. Subscribe, hit the subscribe button, and then send it out to all your friends via Stumble Upon, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Man, I always forget Google Plus. Scott Sullivan Bell, only Scott Bell with Sullivan. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.